And we have a successful lift off of Vikram S rocket. In a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the. In a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the cabin set accordingly. The launch azimuth is at 80 degrees and uh, 100 degrees. The LEA and launch azimuth, as I said. And this is what is required for this mission. This is a standard procedure for all the suborbital rocket launches from SDSC. Udan se bas ek minute dus second door. Ham log aur jaise meri sahiyogi Madhuri ji ne bataya aapko ke ham logon ne aaj subah ye hawa ki raftar gati napi hai. Ab is maapan ko hamne apne mission सिमुलेशन प्रोग्राम में डाला है और कौन सी एंगल से किस धरती से कितना एंगल बनाते हुए ये रॉकेट उड़े ताकि हम जो चाहते हैं जो कक्षा हम चाहते हैं जो ऊंचाई हम चाहते हैं वो हमें मिले ये माधुरी जी ने बताया आपको रॉकेट का व्यू लॉन्च से सिर्फ 30 सेकंड दूर हम अब ज्यादा बोलने वाले नहीं है कुछ देर तक हम आपके साथ मिल करके इस रॉकेट की व्यूज को एंजॉय करेंगे लास्ट फ्यू मिनट्स Last few seconds, 20 seconds, Minus we momentarily seconds. go quiet and we feel the launch along with Minus you. 15. We enjoy the launch along with you. Just 10 seconds to launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Event number 96 completed. And we have a successful lift off of Vikram S rocket. I think I should have be able to show you the jubilant environment here at the control center where the entire team is celebrating the launch and the spin stabilized rocket. The views from the launcher camera. In a few seconds, uh, the vehicle will undergo the condition of maximum aerodynamic pressure followed by the motor burnout and we will get you those confirmations shortly. The vehicle will experience Q max around 15 seconds and at the same time maximum aerodynamic loads will occur. Just to remind the viewers, this is an aerodynamically stabilized vehicle. At tw 20 seconds flight time, we have reached Mach 5 Plus one which minute. means it is flying at five times the velocity of sound and with this the vehicle has achieved hypersonic velocities. It looks like we do have successful burnout and the flight trajectory is tracking as per the prediction. Rocket is now at the altitude of 66 kilometers, 67 now. We have completed 80 seconds of flight time. We are around 34 seconds away from the launch pad and the totally intended trajectory is being followed. The present altitude is 75 kilometers as we slowly go towards our target of crossing 80 kilometers and way beyond that. Uh, nominally, we expect to be around 100 kilometers uh, uh, when the peak altitude occurs. See the screen. Views from the mission control center. 86 kilometers in altitude. We are at 85 kilometers now and uh, slowly and steadily we are reaching our peak altitude. Uh, if you can see it on the screens, the um, altitude profile is being shown. Around 133 seconds have passed. We are very close to the, our peak altitude. We are now at around 88 kilometers peak altitude. And uh, uh, everything has gone as per we have planned. We are very close to the peak altitude now. The peak altitude performance has been reached at around 155 seconds. And now slowly the rocket will start its descent. Actually it has just started from 88 kilometers. Now it has come to around 87.1 kilometer. The peak altitude being met this mission today has given a good such successful satisfactory performance as intended by us.
सर्वप्रथम उड़ान विक्रम एस के लिए प्रारंभ बड़ा ही रोचक रहा यह रॉकेट अपनी गंतव्य तक भी पहुंचा और अब अपनी ऑल्टीट्यूड को घटाने की कोशिश में मात्र 70 किलोमीटर के ऑल्टीट्यूड पर अब यह रॉकेट स्थित है दिस रॉकेट अचीव द एपोजी ऑफ 89.5 किलोमीटर्स दैट इज द पीक ऑल्टीट्यूड अचीव बाय दिस रॉकेट वॉज 89.5 our target was to cross 80 kilometers as you all know 80 kilometers is commonly defined as the start of space so this rocket successfully went into space as we intended